Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In today's video I will be explaining how Dialogs works for a RuneScape private server on revision 718. Uh, I'm making this video because I have uh, got a lot of questions about how Dialogs work, how do I assign it to a NPC, how do I assign it to an object, an item, so on. So I'll be showing you how to make a shop dialog. So talk to an NPC, there will be shop 1, shop 2, shop 3. Uh, etc. and a tellbot dialog with multiple pages and uh, for last a chat dialog so like a chat with an NPC let's start with the shop dialog so here we have I will I'll leave these um, as a download in the description so you can follow along if you want to um, so here we have a, a basic shop dialog what you want is your imports, you want a shop handler import otherwise you will get a lot of errors um, uh, you see here we are starting with a send options dialog method and here we have the title of the dialog um, and here we have ship 1, ship 2 and ship 3 um, then we see down here we have the run um, and we have a check that if stage equals minus 1 and that's this stage because we haven't assigned any stage to it so if we were to do this um, we would have to put one here but there's no reason to do that um, and now if component ID equals option one that would be this option so if a player presses this option it runs this code um, and then for this code we have end so it ends the dialog and shop handler that open shop opens the shop to the player and then the shop ID so for instance let's open shop 1 if you press shop 1 and open shop 2 and shop 3 that's basically how it works um, you see I have the file named uh, shop dialog so for this uh, public class I'll have to name it shop dialog otherwise it won't work so that's the basic shop dialog we can import this to the game um, I'll open my server here, we search for dialogs um, we go into the dialogs folder uh, implements and we just copy this into here and now uh, before we compile we need to edit a few things in the compiler so hold on here you are so this will be your compiler we need to add a new line here uh, I'll be leaving this in the description of the video so basically what, basically what we're doing here is we are adding a new compiler that compiles the dialogues um, just add your Java path here um, yeah, that should be it now we can compile take a few minutes we didn't get any errors now we have the dialog in the game or on the server but we have nowhere to run it there's no code that runs the dialog so if we want it to be assigned to an NPC we go into NPC handler.java we did that here we have the NPC handler so we have option 1 that would be option 1 on the NPC further down we have option 2 uh, and search for option 2 you have option 2, option 3, and now option 4. So, there's that. So, I have booted up my server so we can find an NPC that will fit. Um, oh, I have my equipment on. So, here are my NPCs, so let's just replace one of them. Um, let's take this NPC, uh, NPC 581. So now, I have it already assigned to a thing here. Oh, let's not use that, I have it as an argument. So, you want to find a, under option 1, um, here, option 1, you'll see all these shops uh, or dialogues. You just make a new one, add a line under else if npc.get id. 
equals and then the npc id under that we want to play the get dialog manager that start dialog oh oops start dialog and then we want the dialog name which is shop dialog npc that get id this is not necessary but i'll do it anyway yeah oh let's just remove that so now it opens shop dialog which is this dialog right here um, for the npc id let's use let's use npc 541 which is seek uh, i can spawn him in game Five four one. Let's use this guy as our test NPC for the video. Um, so yeah, this is option one, and this is option two in here NPC handler. So let's just assign the dialog to him. And compile. There we are. Com finish compiling without any errors we can reboot our server and log in here we are let's spawn our NPC let's talk to him yay we have our options here shop 1 open shop 1 shop 2 open shop 2 and shop 3, open my shop ID 3. There we are. That's basically how a shop um, dialog works. Now, for the teleport dialog, um, I'll be showing you how to add a option like this, more options, so it opens a new page. Um, so here, for the imports, we want our player content magic and world tile um, classes to import. Um, now this works the same way with send option dialog and if component ID equals option one, which is here, option two, option three, option four, option five, um, it runs that code. So for the code we have a magic that's sent normal teleport spell and then quotation player and this would be our uh our wall tile here. X, Y and C coordinates. So if we want to make the teleport teleport uh, over here, we do chords and we find our X, Y, and C. We can paste those in here. That'd be two, four, twelve, two, eight, two, eight, and zero. So that will take us to this location, and that works the same for every other. Uh, option here. I'll just go, I'll disable these so I don't get an error. But you can uh, add your coordinates there. So now for the more options. We want to send a new options dialog. There we are. Send option dialog. Please select a teleport. Or you could do you could do teleports page two if you want. Now we want enter, add a few more options. There we have our new options and now we want to add a stage to this. We put stage one. So stage equals one. Now you see here stage if stage equals minus one, where this ends, we want to add a new check. So else if stage equals equals one. So if stage equals one, that'll be this. So we want to another check if component ID equals option one. It runs the code. So now it checks if stage equals one will check here so then if the option is one 
it will run the code for stage one, option one. So we can just add the same. I just add the same tail port to show you. There we are. A equals option two. Runs this code. So on. So and that's how you add more options. Here we could have another send options dialog, so we add another option, another stage, and so on. Let's go and save this and copy it into the dialogs folder. And now compile. Sweet, we didn't get any errors. So now I'll be showing you how you can bind that to say an object. If you want a portal like I have over here, so you press enter portal and it opens the opens the dialog like I have here. Um yeah. I'll show you how to do that. First let's find a portal object. Okay, let's use object 2474, our portal here. Um, now let's bind the dialog to this portal. For that, we want to go into objects handler Java. Scroll down, here we have handle option. We have the same as the NPC, we have option 1, option 2, option 3, option 4, option 5, and examine. So let's add it to option 1. See here we have different things, just add a new line if id equals then the portal id which was 2474. It runs this code and it returns it. So for this line here we want we want to make the same as here. We can just copy this start dialog method and put our new dialog teleport dialog. That's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward when you understand it. Which I'm hoping you are able to understand this after this video. There we are. Now we can reboot our server. Oops, I closed my client. Now we can spawn our objects to Four two four seven four. Here we have our portal. Press it, and here we have our teleports. Teleport one sends our spell, and we land here, where we put the cord coordinates. And we can press more options. Press one. We end here as well. Because it's a normal teleport spell, you will you will uh, be teleported around five squares, three th three to four squares. Um, around the corner you just set. So there's the teleport dialog. Now for the chat dialog. This is looking a bit different. Here we are using the send entity dialog method. Um, and for imports I just put the player um, because we I'll be adding a a message here. So here we have this NPC and then here we have the NPC name. Let's just use NPC one man NPC ID one. Um, this is a zoom. We don't want to change that. Doesn't matter. And for the message, we can say hello, and then we can add the user's display name. Player that get disp display name. How are you today? Um now we're using the same option here. So if stage is one, which is which we set the stage one here. So if the stage equals one, we run we run an option. Um or we can run a new entity. Um here I'll be adding option I'm fine here. And we can add I'm not very well. Bye. 
and then we set stage 2 now we add a else if check stage equals to 2 we run this so now we just make like in here we have the if component id equals option 1 we just do that in here because here we have a options dialog so if component id equals option 1 we run this code or if component id equals option 2 we run this code let's start with this i'm fine you and then we want a new sent entity dialog is and is npc man one two eight two seven that's nice to hear have a nice day stage equals now the stage equals three because we are already have stage one and stage two here we set stage three alright so now for the option two another will buy we can add this again just copy it stage four alright buy now we want to check where this ends it ends here we add a check for stage th three if stage equals three it runs this code so it's nice to hear have a nice day and actually we have we want to end the dialogue after this and after this so we can just put the stage to the same let's save that and add it into our server Here we are. Now we can. I'll use the same NPC uh, seek. I just start the other dialog. Now compile. I will be adding both the edited ones and the unedited um, dialogs in a download. Um, the link will be in the description so you can either follow along or just check out what I've done how it works for yourself personally I like to just look around code and see how it works for myself and try different things but you might be different now we can reboot the server now spawn our NPC oops wasn't the right one um, 541 seek talk to him and then comes the face of NPC 1 which is a man man hello Dulan how are you today I'm fine you that's nice to hear have a nice day and it ends not very well. Bye. All right. Bye. There it is. That's how dialogues work. Um, you can do much more advanced stuff if you want to. For example, I have a gambler here, which is, you know, you can gamble stuff. You can, yeah. There's much more advanced stuff that you can do, but that's the basics of how it works. Uh, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching. Oh wait, actually. I want to uh, lead you to my Twitter because if you want to see more videos like this uh, you can send me a tweet what you want to see you can maybe you want to see how to make a discord bot or more runescape private server content um, all up to you because I am I've run out of ideas on what to record on this channel so it would be nice if you let me know thank you for watching bye